So, this is an experiment, a very first unboxing video. Um, this should have been way more exciting because I did order a full box of these lovely Alice Through the Looking Glass Funkos. But, there was a slight snag. We live in New Zealand and they were shipping from America and when it came, it came in a big box and there was only one inside. So I contacted the guy and basically they cancelled my order. So, I got a freebie which I'm really excited to open because as you can see I'm a rather large fan of Alice in Wonderland so these are the figures from the original Alice and obviously aren't miniatures these are like this normal size Funkos and I had to have them because I absolutely adore Mr. Cheshire Cat in this version and I absolutely love the Mad Hatter as opposed to the original Disney one um, so I have one little Alice with the Looking Glass figure which I am dying to open so let's have a look and see what's inside the box. I have squished this box several times to see if I can tell what's inside it. It feels fairly heavy, so I don't think it's Tweedledum or Tweedledee. And I also don't think it's a Cheshire Cat. I think it might be a person. I should probably have a look. Do you know what? It's been opened. There's no bag inside. So it's reboxed anyway. So it's no longer a mystery mini because I've you only need to open the box. Rubbish. Amazon. Anywhere. It's a good one. Shall I show you what it could be before I show you what's in it? Whoops. Sorry, Mad Hatter. Stand you back up. So, it could be Alice. Or it could be the Hatter. Or it could be the White Queen. Or any of the other lovely characters. I hope. Well, I know what it is now anyway. I've seen it. There's no point <laughs> in causing you any more weight. So I'll uh, flip the box open and show you what's inside. So I got time, which actually is one of the coolest figures and it'll go with the rest of my Funkos and where I keep them. So you can see the back of his head. You can see all the detail. Bring him close to the camera. See if we can get that to focus. There you go. All the detail in the back of his head because he's obviously clockwork. There's loads of detail on his front. It's not got a very detailed face, but it looks kind of cool. So there is a lovely addition to my Alice in Wonderland Funko collection. But yes, I am a bit miffed. At least I didn't pay for it, because I would have been extremely miffed if I had. But we'll put him down there with all his mates. We'll refocus so you can see them all together. And that's the end of my lovely little video. Hopefully I'll be back because I've just ordered a full box of Nightmare Before Christmas Series 2 um, Funko Mystery Minis and hopefully we'll actually get what we ordered this time.